Now, there were some thunderstorms in parts of Bay County uh, earlier today. In fact, and up into Washington County. In fact, uh, a weather chaser, he's a storm chaser, lives out of Panama City Beach. He took a drive up Highway 79 toward Ebro. Well, actually, he was in the western sections of Bay County and then on the way to catch the storm. But look at that lightning bolt. Huge, lovely, cloud-to-ground lightning, spectacular video. video. Joe Mandeville on Panama City Beach has some spectacular weather video and captures images like this all the time, and we appreciate him sharing that with us here on News 13. Now, here's a look at our Titan 13 Doppler radar. Heavy as... Hey, we've seen some spotty showers today, some good news, because we certainly need the rainfall. Problem is, most of us did not see lightning strikes like this one. Joseph Mandeville was able to capture this one. He was out chasing storms today. And got a nice little uh, pop there uh, from the thunderstorm up here in the East Road area. You can see uh, earlier this afternoon, actually, it was, I think, late this morning. Line Viper radar temperatures into the 90s across most of our region. Not much in the way of rainfall. It's pretty from the Viper 7 Weather Center, here is forecaster Sandra Osborne. Well, it's shaping up to be a very calm and mild night, especially compared to what we saw earlier with all those thunderstorms making their way across the coastline earlier today. In fact, you can see that on our radar loop back a couple of hours. These uh, little guys didn't really look like much, but they actually packed a punch with a good little bit of a lightning show out there. One of our viewers even snapped a picture of this cloud-to-ground lightning out in the Bay County area earlier this afternoon, but now things are all completely calmed down compared to what we saw earlier. You can see all is quiet right now on our live Viper radar. Most experienced weather team. Titan 13, Chief Meteorologist Justin Keefer. Thunderstorms that came rolling in. This is from our storm chaser, Joe Mandible. He lives at Panama City Beach, went up to Western Bay County. Look at this cloud structure roll in. Now watch here, you'll see some lightning bolts come flashing out of the sky out of this dark, oh, look at Boom. that. Stop it right there. Just a tremendous, highly electrified bolt of lightning from that cloud to the ground. And there was thousands of strikes of lightning across North Florida today as those storms came rolling in. Here's another strike again. Uh, much thanks to uh, a, a good friend of ours here at News 13, Joe Mandeville. All right, let's uh, move on and see what's happening and why the showers and storms uh, continue uh, to get fired up uh, across North Florida. We will watch these showers and what could be uh, another round of those early in the morning, but I'm not expecting much in the way of severe weather anymore. We'll probably... News 13's Andrew Ruiz was out at the county pier in Panama City Beach earlier today and has a report on the conditions there. See the waves like this is something you don't normally see. It's a sight. This the first time we've ever been down here with hurricane, tropical depression, whatever it is out there. Tourists and locals alike made their way to the shores of Panama City Beach as it got pummeled by tropical storm Lee. We're enjoying it. Uh, maybe the weather might not be the uh, best for a first time, but uh, there's a serenity in it. There's some gorgeous looking waves. However, um, maybe a little bit limited to what we could be doing outside today. Powerful waves hit the county pier with heights of up to seven feet along the Gulf Coast. It's not often you get to see them. We had the biggest waves during Hurricane Ivan and Hurricane Dennis. This is nothing like that, but it's a sight to see. You can see how much water is crashing in on my feet. The water usually doesn't even reach here. It's about four poles out. And all of this is from the wind that is coming from Tropical Storm Lee. People should be going in the water, and when the beach patrol came up there, that's exactly what they should have done, get them out of there. Beach patrol got 19 calls of people going out into the water. Officers continued to ride up and down the beach to make sure that everyone heeded their warning. Back inland, some areas started to flood, but nothing that locals aren't used to. It was a chance for them to take out their fishing poles and head to the bay. It's extremely beautiful yeah, it's and beautiful exciting. beautiful and exciting, and we love Panama City. Andrew Ruiz reporting from Panama City Beach. Yeah, we had wind gusts today up to 70 miles per hour. We had 54 reports of damage here across northwest Florida. Many of those reports here across our viewing area, especially up in the Walton County, where we had some reports of wind damage near the Pleasant Ridge uh, area. Also had even a report of a tornado. That was too far away from Marianne, about three miles southeast of Delwood. That was around 1 o'clock today. Meanwhile, back down on Panama City Beach, we had a wind gust of 70 miles per hour. That is with 153 this afternoon. You can see things are much quieter right now across the panhandle. Some showers and thunderstorms have moved on out. No more rain is anticipated overnight tonight. We'll have to take it back to Viper radar earlier this afternoon at 153. We had this intense squall line pushing across Panama City Beach. Down near Open Sands, then we back towards Bahama Beach and up uh, near Highway 79 right along Front Beach Road. That's where the bulk of the damage occurred up into this area. What we had was straight line winds associated with this system as it made its way on through. 
So we had the, the wall line right there. You get the winds blowing in behind it up to 70 miles per hour. That's the Gulf of Mexico to settle down. We had some great viewer video and photos sent in. This is over near uh, Port St. Joe. Look at that sign that's getting whipped around there by the bay. Of course, the waves were quite big over near Mexico Beach and, of course, on Panama City Beach as well. Very warm out there. Uh, we, we've got a special friend who uh, lives at Panama City Beach, but he likes to storm chase, not as a professional, but as a hobby. And he takes some great photographs. His name's uh, Joe Mandeville. He lives out uh, at the beach. And he went and got some cloud pictures. I want to show you these uh, shots. This is out of Western Bay County. We're heading up the Highway 79. This is uh, looking out toward those really nasty looking storms that were moving through portions of Washington and uh, Eastern Walton County at the time when these pictures were taken. This was middle of the afternoon. Uh, you see the cumulus build up, the dark and ominous threat to the skies. That was uh, far off in the distance of the towering animal cloud of those thunderstorms as they were billowing up over parts of the panhandle. So, Joe, thanks for the uh, pictures. We certainly appreciate his fine efforts. And uh, right now, things have definitely settled down. Let's check out. Uh, it is, it really is, uh, compared to how unsettled it was this morning. You can really see it in the clouds. But I see your radar looks like something else is coming our way. It's, it's just on the edge. I think it's going to stay to our west, and we'll uh, pinpoint those uh, rain showers coming up in just a second. I got to thank uh, our our great weather photographer, Joseph Mandeville, who's out of Panama City Beach, took some fantastic pictures. <laughs> These images are on our Facebook site. Uh, I believe a few of them are anyway, uh, from, uh, again, looking out toward Panama City Beach and some of the scenes of those dark and ominous clouds that came rolling on in across the Florida Panhandle and out over the water as well. Shots over the bay, over the lagoon, and over land. Pretty ugly for a while, for sure. Look at that. Really dramatic pictures. Now let's take a look at our Type 13. Here across the region. Our viewers really came through. Yeah, and I'm talking about you at home. You did a fantastic job sending in those photos. This is storm approach. Approach. This is from Beach Guy. This is when the storm is back over across Walton County. This is on Panama City Beach looking back to the west. Joseph Mandeville caught this nice lightning strike out over the Gulf of Mexico as the thunderstorm was over Panama City Beach. And then for the rest of the afternoon... Four hours. We got there. <laughs> You know, last night some big storms came rolling on in, and we've got a, a few people who sent us great uh, f photographs and images. And one of them is uh, Joseph Mandeville out of Panama City Beach. Uh, this cat gets up in the middle of the night to take pictures of lightning. Check this out. This is over Panama City Beach last night, December late night lightning. Not usually like, like a storm. Fantastic bolt of lightning. You heard the thunder last night. I'm sure if you live out of Panama City Beach. Right now, there are contact. We saw some heavy rainfall, nothing in the way of any severe weather, but we certainly did see a little bit of lightning last night across the panhandle with those heavy overnight storms and thunderstorms. Rainfall totals. There's still some showers out there to talk about, but what I'd like to do is go back to this evening. Now, we've got a nice yeah, yeah. Uh, connection with Joseph Mandeville. He takes great photographs. Now, this is video taken out of the front windshield of his car as he was driving up Highway 79 toward West Bay and up and over the West Bay Bridge. The lightning filling the sky, rain covering his windshield as he drove to catch some of this dramatic storm video that we had tonight. Now, again, this is when the storm was blowing through. There's the bridge going up and over the bridge mm -hmm. there at West Bay. Uh, just torrential downpours here and tremendous lightning. That was tonight. Meteorologist Justin Kiefer. Hello again. Time now for weather. And if you got boots or a jacket maybe for Christmas, tomorrow you might want to put them on. Tomorrow morning, probably not a bad idea. <laughs> or perhaps that lovely sweater. Yep, we're going to yeah. need it, huh? <laughs> because the uh, 30s and 40s tomorrow morning, a little chill in the air. Uh, boy, you know what I mean? The, the storms that came in last night uh, packed uh, quite a wallop. Uh, not severe, but certainly strong enough. But the winds won't be that high? It won't be that high for sure. You know, this is some uh, video sent to us. We've got a, uh, a great partner over there at uh, Panama City Beach. It's Joseph Mandeville's video. He, along with our director, Brandon Smith, out storm chasing to the wee hours of the morning. Watch the lightning just lighting up the sky. This is right along Panama City Beach, looking out over the Gulf and in some other occasions down some roadways. Uh, you see that's free fr freeze frame right there on uh, some of the brilliant lightning strikes. Uh, that we saw. There was also wind, 30 to 40 mile per hour winds along the coastline and inland, and then the rain component. In some spots, well over two inches of rain and to nearly three inches in a few locations last night. The storms, tonight, the calm. Here's a live look with our Panama City City Cam. Let me show you what's happening across the eastern half of the country. Big low pressure now wrapping up and heading to the northeast. Our rainy northeast. Viper 7 Weather Center. Here is certified meteorologist Chris Smith.
Okay, we got some good soaking rains uh, last night, picking up anywhere from two to three inches really over the past uh, week, week and a half. So a nice uh, pattern change here across the Panhandle. A lot of lightning with those storms. Thankfully, nothing severe. Uh, no reports of any major damage across the region, but lots of flashes of lightning from Panama City Beach out into the Gulf of Mexico. Thank you very much, Joseph, for sending in this video. The other story was the heavy rainfall. Depending upon where you live, up in the Dothan, a little under an inch of rainfall here in our studio is 1.7 inches. David, up in uh, just to the southeast of Mariana, about an inch and two tenths. David never gets any rainfall, so he was excited to report his inch and two tenths.